Uh, how are you? I'm here at Thunder Mountain Bike Park and this is the official walking inspection of the Schist downhill race course for the Eastern States Cup race on 27th of September 2015. So we'll have everybody here at the top. We've got a World Cup style rolling uh, gate that will be built here. The line follows down to the lift line. So immediately after leaving the race platform, you'll encounter a steep rock garden into a left-hand turn underneath Tower 12. So then we'll go right into a left-hand off-camber turn right in the ski run underneath the chairlift and it will fade over the, to the edge of the ski run down into a right-hand turn. So after negotiating your left-hand off-camber turn underneath the lift, you're gonna go into a right-hand berm at the bottom of the fade, which will take you into a tabletop. Okay, so after coming down the ski run underneath the lift, you'll go over this roller and it'll enter the woods there. Uh, this is the second steep rock section and at the bottom of it, you'll be greeted by a right-hand turn, sending you into the woods. So this is the first uh, woods section. Um, you see it's uh, quite loamy, roots here and there, some rocks, a little bit of double fall line. Just try to keep it within the tape for us. This is the first chicane in the woods uh, before another slightly steep rock section. Once you can see it, it's also very loamy, roots and rocks everywhere. So once you're in the woods and you make it to this first chicane here, after that we've opened it up to about 20 feet wide so everybody had their choice of lines through this rock section. So after you've negotiated the third rocky steep, you'll encounter a little bit easier trail here with the double fall line roots, roots and rocks. Uh, after that double fall line section, you'll go into a left-hand sweeper that has a little bit of a hook at the bottom to help you out. So after this second loamy uh, double fall line, you'll come into a nice right-hander. So after that right-hander, you'll come back into another double fall line. Then you'll be going into a, another off-camber, loose uh, left-hand turn. Also, we've opened this one up about 20 feet so that the riders can have their choice of lines. So after the ensuing left-hand sweeper, you will come into the gum drop. You'll jump that and into the right-hander afterwards. So now after you exit the gum drop and hit this right-hand steep, you'll exit out on some uh, double fall line root and rock traverse. Uh, still no pedaling. So this will be the end of the first traverse in the woods. Uh, could be an opportunity to uh, put in a couple pedal strokes for some folks. So after your first traverse, you'll come into a left-hand rocky steep uh, that exits into a right-hand berm in the woods. So then your mildly rocky steep, relatively smooth, fast section will go into this right-hand turn. Another nice section where you have a choice of line. Uh, you can jump here at the tree stump, down the trail and into an off-camber left or follow the, the low line. Another spot where line choice is super important. We've got a kind of an off-camber fall line, left-hand turn, no real berm, semi-rutted rocks and roots, tree stumps. Line choice will be uh, pretty important in this zone. All right, so now at the end of this little fall line steep, we're gonna have uh, two little berms, one out across the ski run and then the other to direct you back into the woods. Yeah, so now we got a slight traverse here couple pedal strokes if you like and then into this slightly off camber left hand sweeping turn. So then a nice short double fall line traverse into through these gates and then down into a right hand steep sweeper. So after your second ski run crossing you're gonna cross and go into the woods in a steep rock garden double fall line few roots here and there. So upon crossing the ski run you'll have a little jump here back into the woods rut sets you up for a right hand turn. So we got a little rut here that's going to take you right out into the ski run. This left hand turn will lead you down into Gravitron. When you make the right hand turn at the hemlock, it's no brakes, all gas to the finish line. Yep, so now we got a little left hander, a few rocks stacked up on the corner. You can use those as a berm if you like. And I'll take you down here to the step down out of the woods. 
So you have to step out of the woods under chair number one, goes across the ski run, and hits the uh, canyon gap, which isn't legitimately a gap. It's a it actually was a canyon gap, but then we filled it in with dirt, but it's still 28 by eight feet. So here you have your 28 foot non-canyon gap. You can see that we filled it in, completely rollable for the amateur racers, uh, but the guys bringing the gas can easily clear this. Stepping down into a right-hand berm, which will go into a fall-away fade at the finish line. So here, after the 28-foot step down, you go into a right-hand berm towards the finish line. So here at the uh, Vermont Cheddar Cheese Wedge, you'll be stepping down. This will be the race timing will finish, um, and then the racers will have a corral at the bottom. So that was your walking inspection of the schist, uh, our racetrack for the 2015 Eastern States Cup Series.